program is suitable for family viewing. Well, non-family members can join in too. Hello out there, you're welcome once again to Taste Box, the show that takes you on a culinary adventure all around the world. You already know me, my name is Emeka and I'm a foodie. I'm not a chef, I just love cooking good food and eating good food, which is what this show is all about, good food. Now today on this show we're going to be cooking something really beautiful, something really good. It's actually a twist of uh, Nigerian and American. You know, I truly think it's just Nigerian jollof rice, you know, twisted in a way and it's American. But I think it's 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 gonna be really really beautiful. Now we call it jambalaya and dodo. The dodo I am adding to it, but jambalaya is what it is. Now, as you can see from here, I have beautiful, beautiful ingredients looking also lovely and also beautiful. But like we do on this show all the time, we're gonna take a short break right now, and when I come back, I'll run you through all these ingredients. So stay right there, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. You're welcome back. All right, now today, like I said, we're making jambalaya and dodo. And I'm gonna run you through the ingredients we have here. Now, first and foremost, we have um, paprika. Uh, this is a uh, seasoning cube called our salt. Here you have olive oil. This is a mix, mixture of spices, different spices. You have um, ginger, onion, and the rest of them here. Now, this is our uh, uh, chili pepper, chopped already. This is garlic. This is uh, thin tomatoes. Of course, these are shrimps, uh, red onions. These are chicken breasts. This is really very important for this dish. You've got to use chicken breast, or perhaps turkey breast, but something, you know. Well, uh, these are uh, chopped uh, red pepper, chopped uh, yellow pepper, chopped green pepper. And these are smoked sausages. This is our basmati rice, just about two cups of it, not much. Depends on how many people you want to serve. And this is, of course, plantain now, dodo. We're gonna fry this. These are celery stalks, and this is our chicken stock. So, let's get into cooking this delicious, beautiful dish. Okay, fine. So we're going to start um, cooking this beautiful dish by first and foremost, we would uh, light up our gas cooker. And then we'll add some olive oil. You need to add uh, enough because it's the oil that you use to cook the food eventually. But what we're doing basically right now is just to fry the chicken first. And I'm going to see this chicken with um, these spices here already, but of course the chicken is already cooked, so you can also use um, non-cooked chicken if you want to. It's still the same thing, you know, it turns out the same way anyway. I'm just going to season this a bit to give it some more taste. Well, like I said, this jambalaya basically it's more like Nigerian jollof rice with a twist, right, of a American twist, you know, basically. It actually originates from um, southern Louisiana in the United States, right? You know, southern Louisiana has a mixture of uh, a lot of people, Africans, uh, Americans, Red Indians, and the rest of them. So this dish has a combination of different uh, people's, you know, expertise, different people's uh, recipes and all that. So we're just gonna fry this chicken in the olive oil. And while that is happening, we'll just cut some of our sausages. These are smoked sausages. Just fry it up in reasonable chunks.
Okay, good. So how to fry? I want these are done frying, we'll just cut them up into two halves and um, you can use that, you put that in the, in the jambalaya okay, and then we'll also use to fry this as well I think I should just spice it a little bit as well So the chicken is set. And then we can toss in all our greens, all our pepper, every single one of them, the red pepper, the green pepper, the chilies. And it's looking beautiful. I forgot this. I forgot as well. Good. Now this is a mixture of colors as well. You can see greens, yellows, reds everywhere. Okay. Now while this is just uh, frying up a little bit, we'll, we'll take a short break right now. I'll be right back. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Okay. So this is cooking very nicely and just gonna add the tomatoes
Well, I, I love this dish, you know, it just comes out all colorful. I mean, it's, it's the color that actually makes it uh, this beautiful, just all so colorful. Okay, so next I'm going to add this. Okay. It'll have loads and loads of color and loads of interesting things here. Cooking, and the next thing we're going to do is add our stock. Now this is our chicken stock. Good. Now we're going to let this cook a little while, maybe two minutes, while we chop up our garlic. I was adding garlic to my dishes because you know, garlic is very good for our food. It's an amazing vegetable. Right, it's something that you would uh, do well to always have in your kitchen whenever you're cooking because not only does it add flavor to the, to the dish, it also it's very healthy, it helps your heart, and then yeah, it's good, it's very good. I'm just gonna chop this. It's a really, really tiny bit. You know, I would have used the dried ones, okay, um, the ones you find in bottles or powdered form, but this is um, much better because it's, it's green, it's the life, right? The life. So this goes in here. And next, we'll put our chicken. Just cut it in two halves, basically. Not too much living here. In two halves. Okay, that's great. Okay, so next what we're going to do now is we're going to add the rice. We're going to have to wash it first. All right, this is uncooked rice. Right? It's not cooked yet. It's about my rice, right? not cooked. So we're just going to wash it and add it to this uh, sauce here. Okay. Now some people would like to pre-boil their rice. It's it's okay. It's it's fine. But either way it works, you can the boil, you can just wash it and just add them to the sauce. It's no problem. You can see this is really cooking very beautiful. Very nice. Like I said initially, this is more like Nigerian jollof rice with a twist of America. It's something very easy to cook if you know what you're doing. And you can also try out other ways of doing this. There's no strict rule to cook in this um, dish, jambalaya. You can do it any way you want, add the things that you want. It's okay. Alright. So in here we're going to add um, some paprika. Now, one thing I forgot to mention in this dish is that it's actually quite hot. It's it's quite peppery. So it's going to be a lot of paprika in this. You know, because we really have chili in here. We're adding a lot of paprika. It's going to be quite, quite hot. And when you're adding this thing, you just want to make sure that they're not in clumps. Okay. Too hot now. Can the 
ready to see the aroma is just mm, beautiful. So next, my salt. Careful, so you don't have too much. And then some seasoning cubes. And we there. The one thing remaining to add to this dish is our shrimp meat. I love shrimps. I love them. They are good for you. They are healthy. They are just nice. Shrimps are beautiful. Basically, seafood of any sort. Fish, shrimps, crab, you name them. They are all good. Good, good, good for you. Right. And chicken will also go in here. Now you don't need to dip the chicken into the dish, you just place it on top so that um, the, the, uh, the whole essence of the food will just come into the chicken and make it even more tasty. Okay, so our jambalaya is ready to cook and we're going to leave it to cook for about 35 minutes, 40 minutes, and it's all cooked up. So, as it's cooking right now, we're gonna take a short break, and um, we'll come back for the other aspects of this beautiful, beautiful show. I'll be right back, don't go anywhere. You are welcome back. Now, while you were away waiting for the rice to cook, I have the liberty of cutting the plantain to make our dodo. So, I've already put the oil in the pan, and it's already, um, ready so I'm just going to put the dodo in there. Right. This is my own twist to this whole thing. Ordinarily in southern Louisiana they don't add dodo. Just don't do that. Okay now ooh this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Take a look at this. Isn't this nice? Our jambalaya is ready. This is beautiful. So I'm just gonna turn off the heat now because this is ready. Wow. The aroma is amazing. I can just, you know, it's amazing. So I'm just going to garnish this now. And, uh, use some of my celery leaf, or celery stock, or leaf. There's all of them. Let's just garnish this. This is nice. nice. And that's what this show is all about, really. Good food, good food. Beautiful. So we're just gonna put this into the oven. And then we'll put our dodo to fry. I think I should just put this on the bigger corner so that it just cooks a lot quicker. And like I said initially, this is a very simple dish to make at home. It's not rocket science. Right? You don't need to have a degree in cooking to be able to do this. It's something that you can just take all the spices, all the uh, recipes that I have, uh, and make something for yourself. You can add anything that you want to add, actually. Anything that um, it's okay by you, that you can put into your food, if you think it's fine, it's a problem. It's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. As long as it comes out nice and it doesn't taste awkward. So we need to do is frying right now. And, uh, okay, now while this dodo is frying, we'll take a short break. Stay there, don't go anywhere. Okay, you're welcome back. And now my jambalaya is ready. Isn't this looking so beautiful and delicious? Mm. I'll just go for that one taste. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is a life. I'm 
this is what this show is all about. Mmm. Good food. I love this. I love this. Like I said, you can actually just go and try this on your own. It's not difficult to make. It's just simple, it's not rocket science. Look back to this show and um, use my ingredients. You can add your own ingredients if you want to as well. And you can prepare this. It's just so beautiful. Alright, right now I'm gonna just um, take you through a little food tip that you need to know when you're cooking in the kitchen. Now, um, in the kitchen you have a lot of sharp knives and sharp objects which you need to be very careful about when you're cooking. So, you're placing your, your, your you want to cut something on, on a chopping board, you want to chop something, please, because of the way uh, everything slides around, sometimes because of the wet surfaces, you can put uh, uh, tissue or foil so it doesn't slide over the, over the place. Alright, and um, that's how we do it on this ship. I've had fun cooking this beautiful dish and I've had fun eating it as well. And right now, I'm going to ask you to go on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram. You can cook this that I've done here today, put it on our social media platforms and we can judge it, you can look through it. And if it's good enough, you're never going to tell. I can invite you here on set with me to come and cook with me or taste the food with me. And also, if you have any questions or any suggestions concerning what I've made here today, simply go on all our social media platforms at Arutu TV. All right, you can go on, on, on Twitter at Arutu TV, on Facebook at Arutu TV, on WeChat, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you have any questions to ask me, simply hashtag AskChefAmeka. Hashtag AskChefAmeka, and I'll be there to answer all your questions and give you some other tips as well if you need that. So, um, till I come your way next time, this is Stace Buds. I'll see you some other time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.